Hi everybody, this is Jack at Cathy's Crystals in Boulder, Colorado, and I'm shooting a video of the showroom in our home-based rock shop. We've had one up on the website for a while, and we're really past due in doing an updated one. So we're going to focus primarily on things we picked up in Tucson this past winter. So the first thing I want to bring to your attention is this piece here. Look how big it is. This is all natural emerald. And these pieces are called fingers, and the whole thing is called a hand. And it's, uh, it's just crazy, and that's from Brazil. Uh, a lot of material on this table is, from, uh, is quartz from the Himalayan mountains, and we picked up uh, three whole bags of very uh, of small, crystal clear points from the Himalayan mountains. So if you have any, any interest in those, I can mail you pictures of those. These here are actually large points from the Himalayan mountains of very clear quartz. Uh, so let's see, we picked up this year for the first time we picked up some diopside. Never had that before. We have three pieces of it. Uh, this camera or this phone actually makes things turn out a little bit more blue than they are. This is uh, this is more of a greenish color in here, and this is pretty much standard for videos taken on phones. Um, we got a lot of these pieces here of malachite and chrysocolla. These are gorgeous. This is um, this is. Just beautiful, and they're relatively thin plates, so they're they're fairly affordable because we, we have to buy them by the by weight. So those are really cool. Okay, this piece here is really something special. We've got a lot of green tourmaline and quartz from Brazil, and so this is all quartz except where you see the green tourmaline. And in particular, there's this crystal here. You see the pink inside the green, and this crystal on this side where you see the pink inside the green. That's classic watermelon tourmaline. For, for, for tourmaline to be watermelon tourmaline, the pink has to be inside of the green. It can't just be pink and green. That's called bicolor. So that's really something special. So over here, we picked up um, a couple interesting pieces of I'm going to shine a flashlight in this guy in the back here. This is gray quartz. And um, hopefully you can see it sparkle when I move the flashlight up and down. It's a really unusual kind of color for this. And of course, we got a nice amethyst one as well, and it's very, it's very sparkly. Um, down here, we have some pieces of, I can't say they're old stock ocean jasper, but they're the sort of the nicest not old stock ocean jasper I've seen in quite a while. So those are, those are kind of interesting. Um, we got a lot of this uh, black tourmaline in quartz from Brazil. And um, I'll hold up a piece here for you. So it's just nice black tourmaline in quartz. And we have basically two varieties that I'll show you some more later. But we, these pieces are really nice. Um, on this table, we have a lot of, just a lot of quartz. Um, picked up a lot of this in an estate sale. And this material back here is um, all elestial quartz. Great big pieces of elestial quartz. All right, so now we're going to move over here and look at some of our spheres. We have a ton of spheres in our selection here. And we need to get a lot more of them on the website. Just show you we have bins of them. The spheres in this in this bin over here. Sorry about that. Are ruby and fuchsite and ruby and granite. The ruby and granite has gotten very hard to get. I've been told that that mine is depleted. I'm not sure that's true, but I have a feeling that it is. So now I want to move over here and show you something really extraordinary. We haven't had any malachite palm stones, nice ones, in many years. And one of our favorite dealers had told me he was getting some in, and we went to his huge tent six different times on five different days in order to get there when the malachite was coming in and again these are a little bluer than they should look these are really standard green malachite but i want to show you where my thumb is here if i move this stone back and forth you can see the the malachite turns from dark to, to green and light greener to dark that's chatoyance that's the same quality you see in tiger eye and selenite and it's a highly sought after characteristic in malachite and here's another piece down near where my thumb is i think i was looking at this one earlier you can see some changes in color let's move this stone around a little bit you can see it in the bands it's not quite as it's not quite as obvious in this well right here you can see it clearly right there it goes from just changes color from light light to dark and there is that spot on the other side that is, i know i was looking at earlier that it has the chatoyance as well 
You can see it clearly right here when I move it back and forth. See, it's bright green, then goes darker, bright green, darker. So that's Chateauians, and that's the quality, really highly sought after quality in Malachite. So we're going to go up here. These are our jewelry grade Amazonite palm stones, and they all have beautiful shimmer in them. I'm going to try to catch one of them and see if we can see if we can get it in the light shimmering for you. And if not, we'll grab another one. Sometimes it's hard to get this with the phone. Let's try another one here. Oops, that wasn't so good. There we go. There's the beautiful silver shimmer. You can, and all of these, all these palm stones have that shimmer. I'm trying not to drop it again. There we go. You can see the silver. There we go. A really good shot of the silver shimmer. These guys here are just funny little geodes. This is the this is the center part of a geode from San Luis Potosi, Mexico. And they cut off the outside of the stone. They just left the crystal, the crystal center and then they polished off the sides. And we have, geez, we have about 186 of these and they're just beautiful. They're really, really sparkly. Um, so you'll see some of those around the room. Up here on the shelf, we were able to pick up some beautiful pieces, larger pieces of chrysocolla from Peru. You see some of those around the room. I haven't had pieces that good size in a long time. Um, that piece in the back is called Coomarina agate. It's from Australia, and it's really crazy. It reminds me of an ant farm. It's really unusual. That was discovered about two years ago, actually. Um, over here, we have fibrous malachite. And if I move the, the, uh, the flashlight around there, you should be able to see a lot of shimmer in those stones. I'm actually gonna, going to um, pull one of them out and see if I can get it shimmering under the light. There we go. So the quality you want in fibrous malachite is beautiful shimmer. Uh, you, always, you always find a lot of not so nice pieces in the wholesale market, but every now and then you run across some good ones. Here's another good example of the green tourmaline and quartz. This is a this is what this was actually watermelon tourmaline that looks like that crystal was sliced in half. Um, there's a few other pieces here that are really nice. You see some some uh, what, some pink showing there, and here's a really interesting piece here. This is this guy has a lot of watermelon tourmaline in it, uh, just ton, a ton of it. Uh, down here again, by the way, these are three three pieces are. Oralite 23, it's been assayed to have as many as 23 different minerals in it. It's from Thunder Bay, Ontario, Canada, and it's very popular among the metaphysical community. Uh, up on this shelf, we have probably the one of the nicest selections of malachite that you'll find anywhere. Um, we have the eggs and we have the display pieces. This is actually um, metallic cuprite with fibrous malachite on both sides of it. It's really crazy, really unusual stone. In the back there, we have our piece, one of our beautiful pieces of um, amethyst quartz from the mountains of South Africa. That's a big piece. Up on this shelf, we have a number of uh, intact, entire geodes from San Luis Potosi, Mexico, full of druzy quartz crystals. More pieces of the, uh, more pieces of the green tourmaline and quartz. Another beautiful piece here. In the back there, we have. Um, the big, the big geodes are celestite geodes. Uh, the, the smaller geodes, as I said, are from San Luis Potosi, Mexico. There's a beautiful green tourmaline piece. The green stones here, that's a natural peridot in um, matrix from Arizona. And hadn't seen that till a couple of years ago. So we're gonna move over here. This is one of our pieces of green and white zebra jasper we get from only the only dealer in the country who has it. He's also our best buddy, his name is Mark. Um, and he just has an amazing amount of this stuff. In the back right there, you see a piece of, um, that's natural black tourmaline and pinkish slash peachy um, quartz from uh, Sonora, Mexico. And we bought a hundred pounds of that. The miner pulls into our driveway with his pickup truck and couldn't resist that. There's another beautiful piece of the green tourmaline. There's a really, really nice piece of dark um, amethyst right there. These geodes are Dugway geodes. Uh, they're high quality ones, really high quality ones. We have some more on another shelf. Can't get those anymore because the government took the land back in a sort of a roundabout, sneaky way. Here's another one of those geodes, and it's really, you can see how it sparkles. This is one of those center-cut geodes. 
Um, in the back there, we have a nice piece of natural yellow quartz, big display piece. These pieces here, except for the big green tourmaline and quartz right here. This is the biggest piece we got in, from Brazil, from the Brazilian dealer. It's just full of black or green tourmaline. And it, it has a, and it has a bunch of uh, uh, watermelon tourmaline on the backside. The rest of these are stillbite. A still bites one of my favorite minerals. It has beautiful shimmer. Um, and all of these, other than this piece here, well, actually, this, this has a crystal as well. All of these pieces have apophyllite crystals, and the green crystals are apophyllite. So still bite and apophyllite often form together. Uh, and those are from India. Let's see if we can focus on some more things, find some more things we got in Tucson this year. Uh, got this some really, really nice labradorite. It's hard to get it all the flash at the same time. Uh, with the without moving the pieces around in the light but all of these have beautiful flash and i'll show you some really amazing pieces in a little while this is um another piece of the uh, chrysocolla from peru and this has a beautiful spot of cuprite in it that's a really nice piece um so uh, we're going to go down one more shelf we got we got a, a whole bunch of new uh, lapis slabs and those are, that's what those lapis are right there these are the nicest um, examples of pyrite spheres that I've ever seen, and the reason is the polish on them is exceptional, and they're beautifully sparkly. That's some natural sulfur with some um, nephrite jade in the back, and that piece of uh, that piece of jasper back there is Norena jasper from Australia. It's a classic, classic piece of Norena jasper. This is a beautiful piece of labradorite. Let me get out and see if I can get the reflection off it. There we go. That's a, that's a crazy piece. Green and yellow and orange. Um, I'm going to turn a light on down here on this table that I forgot to. This is where we show our fluorite slabs. And I'm going to pick up this big point here and put it in front of the light up here. And hopefully you can see the beautiful color in it. Yeah, I think you can. Um, it's just outstanding. We have two this size. And I have, a, I think, two flats of smaller uh, points some of them are a lot of them are double are double terminated points um, that we that we picked out by hand in um, in Tucson and they're really spectacular. We got a whole uh, flat of uh, blue kyanite from Brazil, and a lot of it has um, some of the pieces have red garnet crystals on them, which is really crazy. Um, and move over this way. This is a piece of what's called Brenda Jasper. It's from Arizona. Never heard of that variety before. And these are more pieces of the, of the, the nice um, display pieces of um, uh, chrysocolla from Peru. So we're now going to move over this way. We'll go down and then up. So these, these, this is the majority of the 100 pounds of the black tourmaline and quartz and the, this pinky peachy quartz that we picked up from uh our minor friend from mexico and you can see just the beautiful sprays of black tourmaline in the quartz and these are not all that expensive and, and they're just they're just stunning uh we also have some rough pieces rough pieces of lapis you can see this piece right here has some beautiful pyrite in it um a lot of we have some larger pieces as well these are really nice again from our friend mark this is a beautiful piece of I'm going to move the camera up and down, of tiger eye with incredible chatoyance. This is the highest uh, quality tiger eye you're ever going to see. And Mark said he's been having a really hard time getting that uh, recently. Um, so that's, that's that. Here's another piece of the beautiful, that's a crazy looking piece of that green tourmaline and quartz. That's just gorgeous. Um, we have various spheres on this table. These purplish stones are lipidolite with calcite. Uh, this material here is uh, from the mountains of South Africa. It's vanadinite. If you remember Vanna White, you should be able to remember vanadinite. Uh, over here, we have some halite, which is actually salt from uh, around Death Valley in California. Up on this shelf, we have some sort of dome polished pieces of ruby and fuchsite. In the back, more pieces of that black tourmaline and pink quartz. And these are some of my favorite stones right here. This is holly blue agate from Malawi, Africa. The, the uh, geodes are just filled with, with druzy, sparkling, beautiful blue crystals. This white one here is actually really unusual. Um, so we, we'll see more of those later on. 
That's a lab that's a septarian bowl in the background. A little more of the the, the holly blue agate. This material here is um, is cuprite. It's the same as that red spot we saw in the in the chrysocolla stone, but it's a metallic form of cuprite, and it's unbelievably dense. It's really, really heavy for its size. And it's growing in chrysocolla, malachite, and copper, so it's really, really interesting. In the back there, we have a, a slab of rough K2 stone. Some people call it K2 jasper, which is incorrect. Uh, and you see this piece has both the azurite and the malachite spots in the granite in it, so that's a really fantastic piece. Uh, up on the top shelf here, I'm gonna put the flashlight down for a minute. This is a good example of the other kind of uh, variety of black tourmaline and quartz we got. It's really, really sparkly. I have some more pieces on the other side, which we'll see in a couple minutes. That's just beautiful stuff. Um, more of these geodes. I have them standing up here on the shelf. Um, again, this camera, this phone makes them look a little bluer than they really are. They're more of a gray color, but you get to see, I think by moving back and forth, you can see how much sparkle they have in them. And that's really the most important quality you want to see because even though they're a grayish color, they're just beautiful. Um, so right back there, we have one of our nicest pieces of amethyst spirit quartz. That green rock back there is axionite and epidote in quartz from Australia. That's a beautiful, beautiful stone. Um, if you want to see a piece of labradorite, it'll a knock, a, a knock your socks off piece of labradorite. There it is. It's not the biggest piece in the world. Um, but I picked it up in Tucson this time and went in the winter. I'll put my hand up there so you have an idea how big it is. It's not, you can see it's not a huge piece, but it's a, sp a spectacular piece as you're going to find. Um, and that piece back there, the green with the two green ones, that's more of that. That's another one of those examples of natural emerald that has two fingers on it. They're a little greener than the, <clears throat> the other ones, which makes them very nice. Okay, we're coming over here to see some of our hearts. On this uh, shelf here, we have... Um, road night hearts. These are Red Creek Jasper hearts. We've got the orange calcite, the malachite hearts, beautiful yellow calcite hearts with tremendous shimmer and selenite hearts. On this table we have our labradorite hearts. Uh, it's really getting hard to get those in good quality. Another whole flat of those sparkling geodes from San Luis Potosi, Mexico, the centers of geodes. We picked up almost 200 of those. Down here we have what's called white calcite or Indian blanket calcite. That's the white stuff with the bands in it. Only one dealer we know of sells that. And in the back we have um, septarian hearts, and both of those are from Utah. Both of those are from Utah. Here we have our collection of beautiful amethyst um, geodes and clusters. These are all from Uruguay, and they're really, really special pieces, picked, you know, all hand-picked for quality. Over here we have a stone I wanted to show you because I, we hadn't seen this up until about a year ago. This is called, let's see if I can grab this piece. This is called brucite, and I'm going to hold it over here by a light. And you can see the beautiful color that comes through the stone. It's beautiful yellow color. And it's B-R-U-C-I-T-E, and it's from Pakistan. Okay, up on this next shelf we have some... Um, these are aragonite star crystal clusters. They remind me of gob, uh, everlasting gobstoppers. Those are pretty popular. These are some more Dugway geodes that you can't get anymore because the land was taken away. More holly blue agate from Malawi, Africa. These are apophyllite crystals in that box over there. And this is our special heart shelf. Uh, in the back there, we have the two first, the first two pieces on the left are a stone called opalite from Utah. It's much lighter than it looks. And then we have this crazy stone right back in the corner there. That is, it's a jasper from Mac, uh, Madagascar, and it's so new it doesn't have a name yet. And all the stones from, we picked up like five of them, and they're all characterized by these crazy stripes. And that's a piece of opalite next to that again. So we have beautiful new rose quartz hearts, um, blue calcite hearts, shimmering uh, amazonite hearts, just like the palm stones I showed you. And now I want to show you these two versions of hematoid quartz. So we're going to grab one here. Hopefully we get a good one. Hold it up here by the light, and you can see, there we go, you can see the beautiful color coming through from the inclusions of iron in this heart, which made, and the iron turned red. Now we're going to put this guy back and pick out a yellow one. Let's try this guy here. So you can see the beautiful, beautiful yellow iron inclusions in this heart, 
these are really this natural yellow quartz is virtually impossible to get it's all old stock material and i want to show you a really special one this has both the red uh iron in it and the yellow iron in it so that's really a keeper um that's a very special piece we have celestite hearts we have our our really classy um amethyst hearts up on this end of the table i just want to show you this piece and you can decide what it looks like to yourself there you go, that's enough of that. And we have uh, slabs of septarian in the back and we have boxes of those and I understand those can be used as trivets. So we're gonna move over to this table. This table, we have some of our some of our crazy beautiful stuff. We have more green and white zebra jasper over here. Um, let's take a look at this piece. Let's see if we can get this right. This, we picked this up in, in uh, Tucson this, this winter. And this is rutilated quartz. And if I get it right, you should be able to see tons of rutiles in there. I don't want to get it right in front of the light because then it gets washed out. I don't want to drop it either. But this quartz is just filled with rutiles going in every possible direction. And it's just stunning. There we can see some of that. I mean, if I can see them through the, through the phone, that makes you really, means you're really going to be able to see them really well. This other thin piece is a is uh, rutilated quartz as well. I hold it up here. We should be able to see a bunch of rutiles in here. This is new as well. Got this from the same dealer as that larger piece. Yeah, some really beautiful quartz material. So we have our two and a, I think two or three year old amazing piece of green and white zebra jasper that the dealer didn't even know where he found because he wasn't supposed to have any more available. And it's uh, green and white. And it's just all filled, the little holes are filled with light green druzy crystals. This is um, a specimen piece of what's called rose amethyst from Brazil. And it has chloride crystals on the right side. So there's some green in there. And that's a beautiful sparkling piece of, sorry, I keep getting the flashlight in the way, of rose amethyst. And we have just various things on this table. These stones are... This little guy with the stripes on it is another example of that jasper that doesn't have a name yet. The white one behind it is another example of that same jasper that doesn't have a name yet because it's so new. Um, so that's just crazy, crazy, crazy stuff. Um, this is chloride quartz and this, uh, in this tray here, I'll pull out one and try to give you a good example. So this is the green material in this, excuse me, it's chloride quartz. It's, it's, uh, it's C-H-L-O-R-I-T-E. So when you ever see quartz with this kind of green material in it, it's almost always chlorite quartz. We have some beautiful amethyst points that all have rainbow sparkles in them. That's how they were, that's how I picked them. This is beautiful um, boulder opal from Australia. It's got great iridescence and some, just some beautiful spots in it. That's where we have some of our larger labradorites on the back of this table. I love that squarish looking one with the purple in the center of it. That's actually spectrolite, which is a higher form of labradorite. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else in this table I want to I want to hold up as an example. This is just a really nice piece of rainbow moonstone. I'm not sure I can get it to flash in this light, but it does have beautiful, it does have beautiful color in it. Maybe if I get it over here, we'll have an opportunity. Anyway, we have lots of rainbow moonstone and it all has beautiful color in it. Um, so let's come over here. I want to show you something really special. We picked up a whole whole lot of this material in Tucson. This is um, azurite and malachite. So azurite and malachite form together. They're cousins. And um, when you get azurite and malachite stones, the azurite will usually have a lot of beautiful sparkle in it. So again, I wish I had three hands, but I don't. We're going to hold this on with, under the light. Now you can, I can tell you already, you can see the beautiful sparkle in there. So almost, almost any azurite and something like this will have beautiful sparkle. So we got this whole, there's a couple other pieces around the room, but we got this whole um, bin of these stones. And now we're going to move up to something we haven't been able to get in this size for quite a while. So you might either like these or not like them so much. These are called third eye agates or agate eyes. And what they are, again, I'm going to have to uh, get, get back to using only two hands. Um, these are pieces of, uh, this is actually an interesting one because it looks like the eye maybe has like a, uh, half a cataract or something. Um, 
This is an agate called sardonyx, and sardonyx forms in different layers of color. And the, the skilled carvers in India take the stone and they carve it into what look like eyes. And they're called third eye agates or agate eyes. And the, the story of these stones is they're supposed to be the most protective stones in the world in terms of warding off evil. So we hadn't been able to get these for many years. They've gotten pretty expensive, but we got a really nice deal on these from one of our friends in Tucson. So we picked up like 40, 40 new ones and they're really great. We're moving over to something really special here. This is called amylite. It's part of the shell of an part of the shell of what's called an iridescent ammonite, which is a fossil. Um, and when they take part of the shell off instead of ammonite, they call it amylite. And in Tucson, you can find entire geo or entire specimens of uh, of ammonites, iridescent ammonites that are two or three feet across, and they're just unbelievable looking. There's some pictures of those on our Tucson photo essay on our website. These are jewelry grade um, blue lace agate stones, which are really, really nice. Oh, I want to show you these stones up here. I forgot about these almost for a minute. These are really special. This is called dendritic stone, and it's from Utah. And it's full of dendrites, which are manganese, which forms in either tree-like or fern-like patterns. Look at these two guys up here. And these are completely natural, other than the fact that the dealer has sprayed the face of them with Krylon Clear, which is basically just a very crystal clear spray. It helps to, um, sort of makes the stones look wet. It helps to bring the color out. But other than that, they're completely natural. Look how, look how crazy the, these stones are. And these are good size too. I'm gonna to put my hand down here by this one. I mean, look how big this stone is. I mean, it's big. And some of these, uh, they have the same kind of color on the back. They're just, uh, they're fantastic. It's, and it's called dendritic stone. It's in a quartz, a quartz matrix, and it's from Utah. Here is more of that holly blue um, agate from Malawi, Africa. We have it in smaller pieces, which makes it so these are even more affordable than the big ones. Uh, we did pick up this year in Tucson some amazing, beautiful, sparkling pyrite pieces. From uh, These are from Peru. Pick up another one. These have great, great sparkle. And they're very pretty and they're amazingly clean. I love this piece back here because it has these, uh, basically these like cubic crystals of, of pyrite. That's a stunning, stunning piece. That's a big piece of amethyst we have that's very organic looking. That is a huge piece. I'll put my hand up there. That's a big piece. We have a big geode in the back. We have like a few pieces like that. So we're gonna come up here. This is uh, pink tourmaline and quartz. We have a whole lot of that. So this is um, this is classic black and white zebra jasper from India. I'll shine the flashlight on it. That's that's really is like classic of pieces you're going to find. Um, there's more black and white here on the table. This is a really crazy one with the with the swirls in it. Another piece. And then we have the green and white zebra jasper, which we get from the same gentleman. He's our buddy, Mark. And I think he's the only person in the country who has this stuff available. There is a beautiful piece of amethyst spirit quartz from the mountains of South Africa. We have smaller uh, pieces of amethyst spirit quartz in this flat. These are more um, of those San Luis Potosi, uh, those geodes from San Luis Potosi, and that's those sparkling, druzy uh, blue centers. They're just gorgeous. Down here we have smaller examples, and I have flats of larger ones too, of pink amethyst. This was the Rage new material in Tucson 2019, and it was really expensive, but I still bought five flats of it. And this year the material that the same dealer had was so much lower quality that I didn't buy any, so I think we may have gotten our shot at the best stuff two, two Tucsons ago. Up here on this shelf we have um, some more apophyllite. There's a beautiful piece of the green a uh, black and white zebra jasper a really pretty piece of the green and white of the green tourmaline and quartz another beautiful piece of amethyst spirit quartz another beautiful piece of green and white zebra jasper my if i called it quartz before that's incorrect it's zebra jasper not sure um turn the flashlight off for a second i want to i want to show you this in the in sparkling in the light so this is another example of the sparkling black and white uh, black tourmaline and quartz from brazil uh, we got these on the last day we were in Tucson and really lucky to get them. Um, here's another piece right here. These are the two larger ones that I have left. I mean, they're just solid, solid sparkle. Until we had to shut down because of the virus, uh, we were selling these like crazy. So it's more green, more green tourmaline and quartz, 
more green tourmaline and quartz over here. And now you got to see this piece of azurite. Look at this piece of azurite. This is a good sized piece. I'm going to hold the flashlight over there for a second so you get an idea how big it is. So it's just full of sparkle. It's just a gorgeous, gorgeous piece of azurite. It's the biggest piece we've ever had. Um, we did pick up a lot of um, lavender rose quartz, 57 pounds of it. And when I when we go back on the other side, I'm gonna I'm going to um, show you a special piece of that. So we just have some larger stones up here. They're different varieties. There's one incredible piece of that black tourmaline and pink quartz from from uh, Sonora, Mexico. I'll put my hand in front of it. You see, there's two fingers. I mean, it's just that's an amazing, amazing piece. Um, there's a nice piece of uh, chrysocolla over there, natural chrysocolla. Um, I'm going to pan around the room here for a second so you can get a good idea of the nature and scope of our showroom. So you see in the, in the back of the back wall there, there's several pieces of lavender rose quartz, and I'm going to show you a special piece of that over here, um, just to give, give you a good idea of what it really looks like. So this is, this is what it looks like. So this is, it is rose quartz, but it's called lavender rose quartz, and it's a lot more expensive and it's a lot harder to get, but it's worth it because it's absolutely just stunning. Um, I think it probably does a pretty good job of showing you in general what we do and kind of material that we have. Um, I can't cover everything because there just isn't enough time and nobody wants to watch a 45 minute video anyway. Um, so we're going to take one more look at this table and we sort of pan around. And I just want to say thank you for watching. We really, really appreciate your interest in what we do. And if you've seen anything in this video that you like more information on, more pictures about, that you think you might like to purchase, just sort of take note of what time it is in the video so I can find it easily. And I can send you more pictures. And I can tell you what the price is. And I can give you any more information that you might want. Um, so again, thanks very much. We really, really appreciate it. And... Um, don't know what more to say. Thank you so much. Bye.